Next question is from Kara M. McLeod. What do you all do during rest times between sets? <laughs> Send nudes to each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's, always, it's, it's always to each other. Sal does that. I yeah. dance. Yeah. Oh, you're working Flexing on it? pictures all the time. You know what's funny? You know why? Check this out, Adam. You know why I picked this question? Because and I, I when I first became a trainer, I remember thinking this was the strangest thing ever. But I train client. Remember, I, we, I came from a resistance training background, right? That's how I always worked out. And I would train a client, and then we would do a set, and then we'd stop. And they'd be like, okay, what do I do? Well, what do okay, I do now? Now, now what? Now yeah, what do now I do now while what? I'm resting? Can I do something else? And I remember being like, no, you just you just rest. That's the point. Oh, I don't need to rest. You, I know it's not that you don't need to rest, but the rest is what is allowing us to target a specific adaptation. If you don't rest, we're training for stamina and endurance, which is fine if that's what you want. Yeah. But if you want strength, muscle building, You're muddying boosting. the waters if you keep moving around. Yeah, so now that being said, so in between sets... You're not trying to exercise or anything, but what I like to do in between sets is read. I like to read uh, interesting articles or I like to write. So sometimes my workouts will spark interesting thought for me. And since I work out before the podcast, I'll take notes. Oh, you know what? There's this thing about this, about this exercise I want to talk about. Or, oh yeah, I got that message from that person about that particular supplement and I'll write notes. And that is a really cool feeling to be productive in between sets that way. But I, I think the key is it really doesn't matter so long as you rest, so long as you don't, you're not getting your body tired. In well, I think sets. it, I think it matters. I think it matters quite a bit actually, but I think it, what matters most is what your desired outcome is from the workout. Right. So there's times when, um, I'm training for more for the mental aspect and just of the consistency of being healthy than I am of then making progress in the gym. Mm -hmm. So like there's like there's definitely two very clear differences of like how my mentality going into the workout. If if I'm on a kick, like I just, you know, okay, I'm prepping my food right now, I'm gonna make some serious body fat change or strength gains. I actually want my music in my ears. I don't want any distractions. I don't want my phone nearby me. And between resting periods, I'm actually focusing on my breathing. I'm just calming my heart rate down, already thinking about my next set and how much weight I'm about to grab and kind of keeping an eye on the clock to see where my timing is. And then boom, I'm in it. Like oh, it's you're like you're focused. I'm so, so man, focused sure. on the lift and what I'm doing. And it's all about optimizing that. So I'm calming my, my brain. I'm, I'm bringing my breathing down, making sure I'm getting really good rest before I get into the next one. And then prepping myself, getting psyched to go in like that's like, you know, training at them. I'm focused on making moves uh, with my physique. Then there's, you know, other times where I'm probably more like this right now where, you know, I'm about optimizing my life and I'm about what's going on in our business. And so I'm multitasking. So I might be texting to, you know, Katrina, something that's going on or one of you guys business stuff. I might be reading an article in between yeah. my rest period may not be exactly right at 90 seconds. Cause I might be right in the middle of saying something at the 90 second mark and it might go to two minutes or whatever. So, and I don't think that there's necessarily something wrong with that so long as that your desired outcome at the time isn't so focused around progress. Like mm -hmm. it's okay to go work out and it's not always about, I got to add, you know, two more pounds of muscle or I got to burn three more pounds of fat. Sometimes it's just, it's part of my routine of being a healthy, a healthy fit dad and I can multitask and do that. Mm -hmm. But so it really matters where, what your desired outcome is going into it, in my opinion. Yeah, I have a very similar way I approach uh, rest with that in terms of like what I'm actually trying to to accomplish and the intent of it. So if it is performance driven, you know, in between is just that meditative empty mind. So it's really for me, it's just trying to stay as present as I can and like not think about anything else going on. And it's it's something I have to be disciplined with um, as I'm as I'm sitting there, or as I'm just slowly walking around and keeping my heart rate calm. Uh, it, it's just trying to focus on, I try and focus on my heart rate. I try and focus on my breathing. I try to then, you know, stare at one thing and just like, you know, let my mind just completely empty all thought. And then I go right back in, uh, you know, and, and then accomplish my next set. But other than that, it's like, you know, sometimes it's restorative. I'm just trying to like, just chill in between, or sometimes I'm trying to be creative, uh, you know, and, and so a lot of like cool ideas come to me, like to Sal's point, like I'll, I'll write them down. Uh, you know, if, if I'm in that sort of mindset, sometimes it's there's social, you know, components. If I'm not taking the actual time in the gym as seriously in terms of, you know, trying to, to, 
to move the needle forward. It's just more of a maintenance kind of a, a phase for me. So it just really depends on what that intent is going into the gym. Yeah. Another example that, cause I get people that ask a lot of questions about the, especially right now, the squat and scrolls going all over the place. Right. Um, you know, there was a time and a phase when I was really trying to make progress in that. Like I was trying to get to a place where I was comfortable in this really deep squat. And so rest period, I could be doing dumbbell bench press and then I'd hop down on the ground and I'd, you know, get in that, you know, and I'd work, I'd work down in that real deep position and subtle flex there. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, That was, but really though, that's, uh, at that time, uh, it was more important to me to get, uh, get better hip and ankle mobility than it was to increase my bench press. Yeah. Uh So even though I'm in in the middle of a bench press set, you know, I'm getting ready to do my dumbbell press. I'm so focused right now on my hip and ankle mobility that I'm hopping down for that 90 seconds and I'm, and I'm working on my hip and ankle mobility. So you know, there's, there's not like this rule of what you it just, but you have to know what is your main goal right now. Yeah. And, and you guys said like, we would never do like cardio. Into. Well, that's not necessarily true. If my, uh, if my, if I really cared about just increasing my capacity, my work capacity and, and my stamina I cared about that at the time more than I even cared about building my chest or building well, more sure. muscle, you might, you might actually do jumping jacks or something ridiculous in between sets. Most people, when their goal is fat loss or building muscle, that's probably going to be counterproductive. But if you cared more about building stamina than you cared about building muscle, or burning fat, well, then it wouldn't be that bad of an idea mm-hmm. to do things that are active when you're actually supposed to be resting. So it really depends on the mindset going into yeah. the the programming when you do stuff like I'm that. I'm yet to try Paul Check's method. I think it's like really interesting where he paints in between yeah. and you know has like that artistic side of the brain kind of take over uh you know during the rest periods and then transitions back uh you know to getting after it. That's kind of what Sal's doing. Yeah. yeah. When you think about it when Sal's yeah. reading and then actually writing yep. content, I mean you're I using like a it. different side of the brain to do that. Yeah, cuz the majority of my the benefit I get now from exercise is mental. It's my it's the mental aspect of it that I do it mainly. And so, but I want to see you paint. Is the y- point? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, check out our full episode here, or find other clips over here.